definitely. Okay. Like, oh, like, shit. That's you know, so so it's not like, oh, you better do this. Or oh, you but, going to do this. Or, it was like, hey, if you ain't figured out whether you want to go to college right. or the military, if you're going to stay in this house, you need a job. Period. Or you can find somewhere else to stay. And so, so that sounds harsh to some people. Especially this new generation. It, it, it is, bro. Like, I see on social media a lot. I mean, uh, uh, blacks and, and Mexicans were the two largest minorities. But it's the same one common den- denominator. Of course, we have to work hard. You know, Definitely. our parents made a lot of uh, sacrifice, especially yeah. if you're coming from another country. I'm not necessarily different. just Mexico. Um, but... Parents look at their children as financial assets after a certain while. Well, you know what? You know what I, I mean? wouldn't I wouldn't even say that. Like okay. my parents didn't need my help financially. You know, my oldest brother got in some trouble, unfortunately. And when my dad had me, my dad was like 48, bro. Like okay. my dad 72. And my whole life, it was kind of like I got to give you everything I, I have as far as knowledge and a foundation okay. because I don't know how much longer. Like, I wasn't 20 when I had you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I have to see the fruit of my labor, the sweat of my labor, bear fruit. So, I'm the baby. And and my, my dad had already kind of got in a situation with his middle son. And I couldn't be that one. Right. You get what I'm saying? I couldn't. So I put a lot of pressure on myself because I didn't want to let them down. When I seen, you know, my dad, you know, working any type of job that he could get to keep food on the table. When I seen my mom working at, at, at any job that she can get, working two jobs sometime to, to keep a roof over our head and keep a condition of living. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like maintain the condition of living that we've been living. Accustomed to. Uh, that we've been accustomed to. Like willing to go to any length to maintain that. It's like, man, like I can't let these people down. Right. You know, like I, I got to come forth. I got to bear fruit. So I say sometimes like I looked at my friends and like, dang, y'all just get to do whatever y'all want to do.